Certains de ces oliviers sont Some of these olive trees are 100 years old. They've witnessed each agricultural advancement, but today they're connected. Is smart farming, also called precision farming, a turning point for agriculture? Researchers think it'll help farmers be more precise and therefore more profitable. In the Greek Peloponnese region, people harvest olives according to time-honored techniques, but it's also a testing ground for advanced technologies. Scientists in the European Research Project are developing devices like this drone, carrying a multi-spectral camera. It should allow olive oil producers to monitor in detail the growth of each of their trees. It's like putting a microscope in the air. We can identify which trees uh, are uh, more vigorous, uh, are more healthy compared to others, and then we can uh, uh, have targeted uh, treatments. Another aim is better control of irrigation. This smart weather station, connected to soil moisture sensors, allows the farmer to water without going to the field using his phone, saving time, money, and of course, fresh water. This device allows us to monitor the soil and to set some clever rules. So when the humidity of the soil goes under a specific level, it'll start watering, and it will stop watering when the humidity goes up another level. This is a soil conductivity sensor. It allows us to understand how the water moves underground. These technologies remain expensive for farmers under financial pressure, but given the environmental stakes, they're ready to make changes. They are tools that are going to help us to reduce the inputs, which is one of our priorities. Also to produce safe products and increase our production. But the most important thing is that the final product should be environmentally friendly. Without these new technologies, we will not succeed. A different agricultural sector, a different map. Sweden, one of the strictest countries in terms of animal welfare. This farm is also a member of the project. Scientists are testing optical sensors fixed here on the ear of a sow. It measures her heartbeat, which produces a lot of information. Thanks to the heart rate measurement, especially if we know the regular heart rate of a given animal, we will know if she has a fever, if she is stressed, if she is sick. We will know this before there are any visible symptoms. The farmer will then be able to take the right decisions quickly. This technology should help farmers during farrowing, the birth of the animals, the most crucial moment. Sows must remain in excellent health to take care of their babies. Thanks to an alert system, Joss and his son Frank can be more aware and reactive. When I'm going uh, home, I, I don't know how, what's happening in the stable, and with this data I can see from home uh, if there's a sow that starts uh, farrowing. And uh, yeah, it's uh, helped me in the morning. All the data passes through this gateway, which also measures air quality and temperature. But is a farm that's so connected still a farm? Each animal is very important. It's valuable. It has its own right of welfare. And therefore, we have to monitor each animal. And this is the idea about precision livestock farming. The global smart farming market is expected to double by 2025 to reach a value of 16 billion euros. <laughs>